Hey everybody and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott and I've got a match in the Kyber Cup. This is round one. Paul versus Lou. Paul flying Poe, ZZ, and Kaz. Lou flying Lando and Dash Rendar. Let's see, what's he got on this Poe? Outmaneuver R4. Black one title and Proton Torpedoes. We were just talking before the game about the lack of heroic got a resistance squad and only one copy of heroic um i think paul paul blamed it on a uh, a emergency panic build uh, before the tournament started i think now that he's flown the list maybe he wants heroic a little bit more than outmaneuver on poe we'll see um zz with heroic and optics fantastic a-wing build kaz with outmaneuver r5 Advanced Slam and Kaz's Fireball. Let's go ahead and take that hull off of Kaz. And I don't know what card he chose. Maybe we'll find out in a bit. Smikey's in the chat asking, who's doing the heroic count? Definitely need to keep track of how many times heroic is triggered or would be triggered in this game. Lou with Lando, Trickshot, Ninum, Jin. No K2SO on this Lando. He's got Jen Urso, though. I like her a lot, especially in a list with Perceptive Copilot. You get double focus. You can spin, or you can change one into an Evade, which is what we see here. And I think that pairs decently well with the uh, Stealth Device on Dash. So he'll have three dice to begin with and a potential Evade. No Trick Shot, though. No Outrider. Just a big bad four dice cannon. 109 points for that dash Rendar. Woo! Can you make those points worth it? Also, kudos to Lou. Those gigantic arc indicators. Hard to miss. Let's see, dash with expert handling as well. Able to barrel roll. Uh, and not be stressed. Still, no title. Used to seeing Dash put himself on rocks and roll off. Or bring debris. Kaz and Poe at the bottom of the board. ZZ does not go to Joust, Dash, and Lando. Probably a good move. Three bank out of Dash. Looking for a lock. Doesn't have anything in range. Oh. What? Checking for Jen or so. Okay. Lando moves up and locks this rock. Are there jams or something he's worried about? I don't think so. He didn't have any other actions to take. Poe with a four straight.
All right, back to dials. Paul doing a good job of regrouping with uh, the rest of the ships. Gotta find a good angle to approach this. Fordyce gun from Dash cannot be ignored. I think Lou is just going to be comfortable to circle strafe. Hang out on the edge of the board. Pepper shots in. Do have a trick shot Lando as well, so we could see two Fordyce shots. Take a look at the outmaneuver while you perform a front arc attack. If you're not in the defender's firing arc, the defender rolls one fewer defense die, so got to get out of both of those bow tie arcs. Either side of those bow tie, bow tie arcs. five region on Kaz. There's the three bank. Exposes the card, which is a damaged engine. And R5 can flip face down. Yeah, he can repair uh, ship cards like the one he just exposed. There's the... Uh, did he slam? Straight three, bank three. Yep, there's the slam. Advanced slam focus. Dash with a three. Focus evade. Lando, three bank. Nina making it blue. Lando looking to give a target lock to... Dash doesn't have the range from Dash. I'm just gonna lock this debris. Lou turns in with a hard one, takes a focus. with a three straight boost. He's looking for a long range engagement as well. Would love to pepper in those proton torpedoes. No shots for dash. Back to dials. Heading into the corner with these YTs. Kaz is stressed. Let's take a look at that dial. Fastest blue maneuver he has is a two. Hard turns are currently red as well. Maybe not the best turn to slam. Lando's the ship with uh, with trick shot, so even putting uh, dash over here, not quite as good as getting Lando that obstructed shot. 
No engine upgrade on Lando, so the boost will still be red. See, so lose at 199. Yep, he's filled up those points. Like he's saying, if Kaz goes in, he could get one rounded. Yeah, you don't, don't think he wants to do that yet. Wait till you have more shots. Probably take your range three engagements. Probably go after Lando. The one bank from Kaz takes the focus. Dash. One hard. Hmm. Let's take a look at how close he got to that rock. Woo! Takes the focus evade. Might have a range three shot into Kaz there. One bank out of Lando. Might see a focus target lock. Yep, definitely has range. From Dash. Focus target lock. Into Kaz, now Lou. Not Lou, Lou Zizi. <laughs> Gonna move in. Barrel roll out of that side arc. Three banks in, takes a focus and a boost. Probably still going to be out of range, but we'll see. There's the stress from his ability. Just going to be out there. For now, Lando shooting three dice into Kaz. Range three, so it'll be 3v4. Kaz is a focus. Hit crit. One focus from Kaz. Almost had a heroic roll. He doesn't have heroic. Spins the evade, takes the crit. Weapons failure. Ooh, poor Kaz. Gets the weapons failure before he shoots. Brutal. Alright, here's the big bad dash shot. Four dice versus four. Range three into Kaz. Kaz no longer has that focus. Ooh, 
And Dash gets to hold on to that target lock. If there's anything left of Kaz after this, Kaz has four hull. If he doesn't get any natural evades here, he's dead. He gets two at least. Takes two on Kaz, that's half points. Zero to 28. Dash still has an evade. Three dice from ZZ. Two hits. Stealth device Dash needs one natural evade. Or he loses his stealth device. Spins the evade token. Takes nothing. Man, it's really tempting to shoot Dash here and try and get that stealth device. So Kaz... While you perform a primary attack, if the enemy ship's initiative is higher than the number of damage cards you have... Let's see, got four, five damage cards. Lando, or a uh, dash is a five. Does he still get the... Four damage cards? Yeah. Okay. One hit, one evade. Alright. There's the crit token. Well, Dash holds on to his stealth device. Kaz holds on to his weapons failure and damaged engine. Fifty six minutes to go, twenty eight to zero. Dash moves before ZZ, so needs to hop over that ship. Could probably three bank. See how fast Dash can go. Four forward, that should make it as well. Should be pretty predictable though. Don't change teams, change color.
All right, Kaz. Three straight, three hard left. Takes the stress from damaged engine. I guess trying to block Lando? Kaz can't use R5, he's stressed from the... I think he deleted his damage card, so we gotta get it back. Just pull another one out there. There we go. easy lose fives move first here it is four forward from dash we knew it was coming hops right over kaz and zz Focus Evade. Lando. There's a one bank. Bumps into Kaz. Great block there from Paul. Three bank to the right. So ZZ knew Kaz was going for that block. Maybe he thought... Lando was going forward instead of banking. Opens up the wings on Poe. He's going to get a nice, juicy shot into Lando here. Yep, Lando, range one, 4v1. Lando's going to be taking two of these range one shots. Has one from ZZ as well. Oh, dear lord. Two hits and two crits. Those are our first natties of the game. Blanks out. Lando takes all four. Down to one shield.
Lando. Looking to shoot back into Poe range one. 4v2. Poe's got a focus though. Lando's got nothing. You know what? Lando's got four natty hits. Poe can do it. I can do it. One evade takes three on Poe. Shields down on the T-70. Dash. Probably want to use that new range finder. Range 2, unobstructed. 4v2, this time with a focus. Three hits into Poe. One guaranteed to go through. That will be half points. Any other blanks are icing on the cake. Two going through on Poe. Zero to 74. Can ZZ do something meaningful here? Easy range one into Lando, three dice. Oh my god! Three attacks, all natties! Hashtag rigged. Uh, one shield, two hull. Points on the board for Paul. And that should be it for that round. Back to dials. I keep thinking this is an evade dice. It is not. But uh, a great block there from Paul on Lando. Unfortunately, everybody rolled natty hits. Could not have accounted for that. Unfortunate for ZZ to, uh, to get caught there. But again, didn't matter. Nobody shot her and she rolled all natties. Has not in a great place with this stress to get out and block anything. Zizi moving away and also moves after these two ships. Take a look at Dash. Oh yeah, all the maneuvers. That's nice. R4 Poe means he can too hard to pursue. I mean, do you dare, like, one bank Lando and stay right there? Try and block Poe? Well, if he too hards, then you have nothing. And your arc's facing the wrong direction.
take a look in front of Lando. See what a forward maneuver. Yeah, he's got space if he wants to go straight, but would need to turn that arc. Alright, both players ready. Kaz with a one bank. Fits right through ZZ. Gets rid of the stress. Going for a barrel roll. Blocking Lando. Just when I said it couldn't be done. Well, if he's going to block Lando there... That means Poe's doing something different. He's not doing the too hard in. Dash, Lando. Discussing a target lock. And dial issue. Okay. Three bank out of dash. There's the focus, evade. Lando tried to go three forward, but bumps. ZZ three bank. He still two hearts Poe. He sets up the block and then doesn't expect it to work. <laughs> I think that's the second time. I mean, ZZ I can kind of forgive because maybe you thought Lando was going straight back here. But that's the second time he's blocked a ship and then that ended up blocking his own. Uh, so nothing for Poe. Lando's going to shoot. Could kill Kaz here. Might have an obstructed shot in a Poe. I think you'd check the... Uh... Yep, Poe obstructed range 3, Kaz at range 2. I think you just try and kill Kaz. Yep, he's going into Kaz. I like that. 4v3, dash as a focus. Hit, hit, crit. Man, 
And that is a dead Kaz. One oh one to forty Focus from ZZ, range one into Lando. Blank. Three hits into Lando, down to three. isn't around to block Lando anymore, so that's nice. Lando's not in a great place to get away from Poe right now, though. ZZ's heading away from the fight. Dash has a probably a too hard lined up. Be great if he had trick shot, but always get what we want. I'm trying to think of a way. So Lando could hard turn around this debris. Would need to turn his arc around, and that'd be the only maneuver he could do. He could three hard boost. Probably have ZZ to deal with. I, I'm wondering a two hard boost. If Poe overcommits, maybe you escape.
Alright. I think we're ready to go here. Yep, no more Kaz, so... Lou moves first. There's the hard turn. Around the rock. Focus evade from Lando. One forward from Lando. So let's see, he turns his arc around backwards and then gives a lock to dash. Wants to make sure whoever's taking that double modded attack is living into the engagement phase. Three forward from Poe, are we going to see a Talon? Yep, here's black one. Does he land in front? Well, he better hope that he makes it count. Has the lock. They check arc. I didn't catch it. It looked like he was in. Four dice. With a target lock. Three hits. Gonna target lock that blank. He was in. Okay. Three hits into Lando. He's got three hull. Needs a natural evade. To live. Gets it on one. Wow. Can he take um can he take Poe off the board? Okay, I think I like this. Poe. Dash gonna take that shot into Poe try and kill it. Man, I almost wonder if you don't shoot ZZ because you're going to give her the focus mod. Spins the focus for four hits. Guaranteed death. No, no. Poe's got two. Sorry. Four dice into Poe. Range three. Unobstructed. There it is. Three going through on Poe. Rip. One forty six to forty five. Uh oh, Lando's got a trick shot. Four dice out the back into ZZ. Two hits. One evade takes one on ZZ. Gonna give her a focus. She's going to try and get Lando 
out of this game. Obstructed range two. Hit crit naturally. Didn't even need that focus. And those are going through. Nothing for Lando to do about it. 90 to 146. So we're looking at a Poe versus ZZ in-game. I guess she just needs to get range one. All right, let's turn off this range finder. Alright, Lou says he's ready. I don't know what you do with, Z I mean, a two bank from ZZ. Barrel roll boost. Barrel roll dash. Make it impossible to arc dodge. Well, I mean, how bad do you want to keep that stealth device? Focus evade. Oh, no, uh, no gen anymore. Sorry, just focuses. Five straight ZZ. Gonna have to boost to get out of arc. Goes for a boost.
Oh, on to the next one. Too hard from Dash. Maybe go for... Well... I was going to say go for a lock. But you're looking at a possible too hard boost scenario. Takes a lock. I like that. It may mean some bad things are going to happen to him this turn. Yep, there's the focus boost in from ZZ. And there is no way she's not getting through this stealth device. Unless Dash just natties out. It's going to be a 3v3. She's got focus and optics. Spins the focus for hit crit crit. Even if he had focused, he'd still be losing that stealth device. Two shields. All right, Dash, where are you going? Look at that dial. He's got hard ones. While you move, you ignore obstacles so he could hard one onto either of these obstacles and barrel roll off. hard to the right. Oof. Uh. Looking at a barrel roll. This is, I mean, loot, uh, Zizi was probably going left anyway. I don't know that you save much doing that. Too hard left. Leaves the stress. Got the arc coming down here somewhere. Could try and barrel roll. Boost. Oh, wow. Okay. Full aggro. Dash. Range one, three dice, with a target lock. He's gonna end up giving her the mod. One hit. Spins the lock. Hit crit. One shield, half points on ZZ. 90 to 169. 
Zizi gets the focus and a range one shot into the back of Dash. Fingers. Nails it. Says ZZ has a range 2 shot. Definitely does. 2v2. Blank hit. Optics for 2. Dash. 2 dice. Double. Natural. Evades. Back to Dials. Well, we know where Dash is going to go. He's going to turn into this corner. Maybe a three hard. Try and keep that arc as wide as possible. Got a stress on ZZ, so looking at a two hard. Focus boost. All right, Lou says he's ready. Does the two. I don't know, man. I think a two hard barrel roll boost is going to get out of arc. There it is. Free shots for ZZ. Nothing. Blank focus, focus. Lou is the luckiest man in the world. Fingers asking for the, uh, the dial for dash. Just imagine every maneuver. There's the three bank, probably going to turn that arc. Now this is going to be an easy turn for ZZ. Two bank, focus. Three bank even. Forgot that's blue on that dial. range two oh boy <laughs> four dice versus three now ZZ's got a focus and the ability to get it back one hit from dash no big deal one evade Two natty hits. Dash, two dice. Can't natty out again. Takes one.
I mean, now you just fly forward really fast, right? Yeah, four straight, no doubt. Four straight on a dash, double focus. Gonna boost in. Does that get him in range one? I don't think so. Yeah, range two again. 4v3 this time with a focus. Ooh! Four hits, one guaranteed to go through. If there is one blank in here, then ZZ's dead, right? Two evades, takes two. GG, well played. ZZ does get to shoot. Two dice. Has optics and a focus. Hit crit doesn't need him. Dash has a focus. Blanks out. Takes hit crit. And that changes it to 145 to 191. Does get half on dash at the end there. Stunned pilot is the crit. GG, gentlemen. Thanks to both for playing. Congratulations to Lou the Lunatic. Walking away with the win. Thank you to Paul for playing. Thanks to everybody for watching. That's going to do it for that match. Until next time, this is Scott from Hexiled Gaming. Signing off.